rain. It is a word that evokes different emotions depending on where one calls home. In many places, it is a familiar drumbeat on the roof, a quotidian occurrence that blends into the background of daily life. Yet, there are corners of our planet where rain is not a rhythm but a revelation, a rare and precious gift that transforms landscapes and lives. These arid and semi-arid regions, often defined by their scarcity, hold a unique fascination. They challenge our perceptions of habitability and resilience, offering glimpses into ecosystems shaped by the absence of what we often take for granted. The scarcity of rain in these regions makes each drop a vital elixir, a catalyst for a cascade of ecological processes. The arrival of rain, however infrequent, sets in motion a chain reaction of life, triggering dormant seeds, replenishing depleted water sources, and sustaining creatures uniquely adapted to survive in these extreme conditions. This essay journeys to some of the most parched corners of our world, exploring the science behind these rare rainfall events and their profound impact on the landscape and its inhabitants. Nestled between the soaring peaks of the Andes Mountains and the icy depths of the Pacific Ocean lies the Atacama Desert, a sprawling expanse of sand, salt flats and volcanic rock in northern Chile. Widely regarded as the driest non-polar desert on Earth, the Atacama receives an average annual rainfall of less than 15 millimetres. In some particularly arid sections, rain has not been recorded for decades, leaving the land baked and seemingly barren. The Atacama's aridity is a result of a confluence of geographical and meteorological factors. The towering Andes Mountains act as a formidable barrier, trapping moisture-laden winds from the Amazon rainforest to the east. On the western flank, the cold, upwelling Humboldt current chills the air, preventing the formation of rain clouds. This double whammy of geographic isolation and atmospheric stability creates the hyper-arid conditions that define the Atacama. While rain might be a rare visitor to the Atacama, moisture does arrive in other, more ethereal forms. Coastal fog, locally known as Kamanchaka, drifts inland from the Pacific, blanketing the desert in a cool, damp embrace. This fog, formed by the interaction of the cold Humboldt current and the warmer air above, condenses on the spines of cacti, the leaves of shrubs, and specially designed nets erected by resourceful locals. This fog drip, while not as voluminous as rainfall, plays a crucial role in sustaining life in this hyper-arid environment. Specialised plants, like the lareta, a cushion-forming evergreen, have adapted to absorb moisture directly through their leaves. Insects, reptiles and even small mammals rely on this fog-derived moisture for their survival. The Atacama Desert might appear desolate and lifeless at first glance, but beneath the surface lies a remarkable story of adaptation and resilience. Life here exists in a constant state of preparation, waiting patiently for the rare moments when water becomes available. When rain does fall, even in small amounts, it triggers a remarkable transformation. Dormant seeds, some lying dormant for decades, burst into life, carpeting the desert floor in a vibrant tapestry of colour. This ephemeral bloom, known as the Desierto Florido, or Flowering Desert, is a testament to the tenacity of life and a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of water and life itself. The desert's fauna, too, has adapted to survive in this challenging environment. Guanacos, relatives of the llama, obtain moisture from the cacti and fog-laden vegetation. The desert fox, with its oversized ears that help dissipate heat, has adapted to survive on a diet of insects and small rodents. These creatures, master survivors in a land of extremes, embody the delicate balance of life in the Atacama Desert. <laughs>